back to my channel. I'm happy to see you again. For those who don't know me yet, I'm Christina, I'm a personal stylist and in today's video we will talk about five things worth investing in. Hello, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we will talk about five items worth investing in. For those who don't know me yet, I'm Christina, welcome to my channel, I'm a personal stylist and on this channel we talk mainly about fashion. You know, there are items that are definitely good uh, to buy in a higher quality and some items on the other hand that I think it's uh, really useless to pay big money for. So I just would like to introduce some of them in this video. Obviously there are definitely more than those five I will mention today. But uh, I think those five I will mention today are probably the most important ones. So let's jump into it. First item I have here are good quality handbags. It's probably no surprise, I guess, but yes, a really good quality handbag is something you should own because if you would think of cost per wear, not only buy this item, it will definitely uh, in uh, the long run will be much less than if you every year buy uh, a handbag from H&M. So definitely I will go for a leather handbag, depending on your budget, uh, obviously if you have the money, go for designer handbag. I would definitely go for something that is timeless, that can be worn with most of your outfits and that will last you obviously years and years. So definitely a black one or a beige one, depending on uh, what outfits you wear. Obviously black is more suitable for like spring, autumn or winter and beige would be more suitable for summer. But in general, depending on, as I said, on what outfits you wear. And if you have the money, I would definitely go for a Chanel flat bag, for example. I think that's a timeless handbag that can be worn with the uh, most outfits. The same goes for my personal favorite and that is Saint Laurent, which is obviously like two times cheaper than Chanel. But obviously, again, uh, depends uh, on your preference. These bags can be also investment piece in a way. Obviously, depending on the bag, I don't mean Saint Laurent specifically, but Chanel, uh, I would say this model, for example, as I mentioned, flat bag for sure, or Hermes Birkin, are bags that are more and more expensive every year, so they don't lose its value, and it's really maybe a reason why some people buy it, because uh, they know it doesn't lose value and it's a sort of investment in a way. If your budget is not that big, you can also consider obviously secondhand designer handbags or obviously, as I said, it doesn't have to be designer if it will be a leather bag. It's still much better than like some PVC handbag, obviously. So second item is, well, it's not an item, it's actually a general thing. And that is materials. I did a video about natural materials in Czech, so for, for those who understand Czech, I put it right here. And why I'm talking about materials, I think natural fabrics are something you should really do a bit of research on and really consider and really look, uh, you know, at labels um, on clothes because Natural fabrics will definitely last you longer. Obviously, they are more expensive than some of this synthetic shit that um, many clothes are made of. Obviously, for example, this what I'm wearing today is this uh, kind of plastic shit. Obviously, it's not like uh, all your closet will be sustainable and from natural fabrics. I think it's it's very hard to do, but uh, for me, I especially care about the material you buy t-shirts and, and sweaters and such items. So definitely take a look at it and I recommend investing it because again, the cost per wear will be in the long run less than if you are buying synthetic sweaters from like acrylic from H&M that simply don't last very long. Next item I have here is a very important one and it's a good fitting underwear. This one definitely needs a more in-depth video, separate video where, where I will talk just about underwear. So if you don't want to miss that one, definitely subscribe to my channel because I will do that one very soon. And 
yeah as i said i think it's very important because it's overlooked by many and i think it's because many people or specifically many women they don't have the good fitting bra they don't even know what's the good fitting bra how it should be which bra you should choose etc uh, etc et and really good fitting undergarments is very important because you know they are still clothes that you can really see what kind of underwire the person is wearing by its shape um, so it's obviously not a really good looking if you have the wrong fitting underwear into something that is really uh, fitting and it can be seen by everybody so yeah there is definitely coming a more in-depth video on this one another item i have here are shoes a good quality shoe is uh, very similar to the good quality handbag and i could not miss this one because i think there's nothing worse than having a really overworn shoe that is looking very bad so again uh, same with the handbags leather shoe again depending on your budget uh, I would go for black ankle boots. Here in Europe is a no-brainer to me. Obviously, it depends on what kind of shoe you wear, but you know, boots you will wear in spring, autumn, even on warmer winter days. So I think that's the shoe that you will get the, the best wear out of. Or I would go for sneaker. A white simple sneaker, I think that's a good option uh, as well. But obviously, if you have a bigger budget, you can invest in every shoe you have in your closet. Uh, so shoes in general, that's definitely an item worth investing in. And the last and the fifth item is a good pair of sunglasses. I know that not everybody wears sunglasses, uh, not everybody is into it. But uh, if I think of accessories uh, besides handbags, I mean, you know, hats, scarves, necklaces, uh, these kind of smaller accessories. Sunglasses is my most favorite one and I think it's really good to invest a good quality one because it is, it is a piece that will elevate your outfit. It's a statement piece and it will give your outfit a vibe and I think many times you can really tell if somebody wears a good quality pair of sunglasses or not so I would definitely in a vest and sunglasses as well. So these were the five items worth investing in but I have an extra tip and that is blazers. Again I know that not everybody loves or wears blazers but I think most of us own at least one blazer and be it a black blazer or navy blazer or maybe some other color due to your preference. I think it's a really good to invest a good quality one because again you can uh, tell not only by looking at it but uh, by the time it will last you. And I don't mean just like investing into like some kind of baggy blazer that will like be uh, you know too oversized and it will shorten your legs so you know what I mean um, I will show a picture here I don't mean that one obviously but as I said a really good quality blazer will last you for years and it's one of the statement pieces uh, one of the basics that I think you should own so yeah that was a little extra tip and that's it from today's video I hope you liked my tips if you did, uh, let me know in the comments below which one you liked, if you have any other tips on items worth investing in, and I will see you in my next video.